I was training for the New York City Marathon, 35 years old, happy, healthy, and I had some really itchy skin, like debilitatingly itchy skin. And I tried every pill, cream, potion, lotion known to man. And it wasn't until a swollen lymph node popped out of my neck and a six centimeter mass uh, was found in my chest. And after about four months of wondering what was going on inside my body, I was diagnosed with a form of blood cancer called CD20 positive Hodgkin's lymphoma. Trust me, I'd never heard of it either. <laughs> I was placed on six rounds of RCHOP chemotherapy. Didn't work. So then we went to plan B, which is a more intensive inpatient chemotherapy called ICE. And you know, there were some pretty dark days going through treatment, times where I felt my whole body had turned against me. And I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep, my hair was falling out, I felt miserable, I had no energy. And now we're on to plan C which was 22 blasts of radiation and an autologous stem cell transplant, which got the disease into remission for a while. The cancer returned 20 months later. And getting the news that the cancer returned was deflating, exponentially more difficult than the first time around. I was running out of options, I was pissed off, I was scared, and I didn't want to die. And this is when I prayed. You know, I prayed for a silver lining, a ray of hope, a glimmer of light. I prayed for a miracle. And do you know what a miracle looks like to cancer patients? It looks like successful research and new drugs. And lucky for me, when I relapsed at the exact moment in time, just when I needed it the most, a new smart targeted therapy emerged on the market and was available for a select group of people in my exact situation. As a patient, it's, it's really hard to articulate what it feels like to be seriously ill. You know, it pays to have a positive outlook, but when your entire team of doctors might try multiple ways of healing you that don't work, you panic, you freak out, you lose hope. And there are times that I wanted to give up. But to understand that science is on our side and that hospitals like Sloan Kettering are on our side is an incredible feeling. Knowing that doctors like Perales, Moskowitz, Portlock, Yahalom, and every other doctor here at Memorial Sloan Kettering are on our side has given me and thousands of people just like me the courage and confidence to fight like hell and stay alive for as long as we can. And now that I've survived, I've decided to live the rest of my life by making sure to never let a crisis go to waste because it's an opportunity to do some really important things. And since I've made my battle public, eight people have reached out to me to let me know that their sibling, friend, coworker had the same crazy itch and went to the doctor and they got diagnosed with lymphoma. Playing some role in getting people diagnosed earlier and helping them manage their cancer has made it worthwhile for me to talk about my journey. Everyone goes through cancer alone and no one really knows what that experience is like for e that each individual. But it's comforting to know that when you feel alone, like devastatingly alone, you can connect with someone here at Memorial Sloan Kettering or someone in our cancer community that is going through a similar experience. Nothing creates comfort and confidence more than knowing they're not fighting, alone, fighting a life challenge alone.